We made it to Anaheim. And we are walking to Disneyland. Giovanni's still waking up. No. He thinks he's awake. But, but he was the last one to get ready. Like always. But are you guys excited? I'm so excited. Yeah, we're gonna walk. We're staying at a Super 8 a couple blocks away. It's, it's gonna be like a 30 minute walk, but I think we're gonna get there in 20. Uh, I'm okay. We're gonna get coffee in the park because that's what we usually do. Giovanni, we go to Starbucks on Main Street. Up. Giovanni's gonna, Giovanni's gonna be there after us. He, he goes too slow, but we're gonna get going and we should be there fairly soon. Giovanni and Tegan seem to think that Universal is better than Disney. Okay, that's I think it literally is. not what, oh. Okay, I'm not claiming that. That's all you, bub. You've never been here. I know. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a key note to the trip. This is Giovanni's first time in Disneyland. Even <laughs> though he grew up in LA, this is his first time. His first Disney park was Disney World with us in January. Are you excited? What do you think it's going to be like? I'm excited. I think he's not going to love, like he's going to, Disneyland, he's going to be like, oh, I've already, I went to, it's going to be like, Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. But I think California Adventure is going to rock your world. I think so too. I think you're going to love California Adventure. I'm excited for uh, Adventures Campus. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I okay. think you're going to love that. You'll see the difference in quality, like, yeah, between you and see San Francisco. Oh yeah, from Big Hero 6, yeah. that land opened. Oh, it's really cute. Giovanni, are you awake? Did you get an energy drink? He made it in time. By the time we crossed the street, he was already there. So far, I think it's been probably like a 10 minute walk so far. Yeah. Like a 10 minute walk and we're already to the Disneyland Hotel. So there's the parking garage. And the walk is so far not bad and the weather's like perfect. But the Disneyland Hotel is right over here and then we just enter through security and then we're in downtown Disney. And we made it through in a matter of like two minutes. So we're just gonna keep rolling. They're doing some construction in downtown Disney. And I know they're working on that sculpture that they've been talking about for a while, plus the whole Disney forward extension. So it goes back pretty far. They need to bring back the ESPN zone. It was a, a place called ESPN zone. So it was like a arcade on the top floor with like a million TVs for like sports. There was a bar with food. It was freaking awesome. We would go like every time. That's how we like started the trip, is going to ESPN Zone. How fun. There's a Disneyland hotel. Here's a construction that has progressed so much since we were just here. Now that looks like it's gonna be awesome. We need more space too. Like Disney Springs is huge, but coming here it always felt like incomplete. So it feels like we were just here and partially because we were like a month and a half ago. It doesn't, it finally feels like we are like actually at the park now. Didn't feel like it when we got here last night, but now coming here, I'm like, oh my God. All right, we're here, we're getting moving. It is 7.50, crowds don't look horrible. Even the tram offloading doesn't look bad. So we're gonna try to get in there, get our genie for Haunted Mansion, and then go to Starbucks. And once we secure that genie, I think the, the stress level will decrease once we get the genie. It's a Friday and there's no line to get into the park either. I don't know if it's the time we're getting here or if we're just like lucky. This is crazy. I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting to go here with Giovanni and Tegan for so long. Like I said already, we did Disney World in January, but we weren't vlogging at the time. But now, now we're like, we're going. So let's see if our magic bands want to work today. Good morning. Come on in. Thank, Thank you. you. It works. Oh my gosh. We're back. We're in Disneyland after a month and a half. That's too long. Month and a half is too long. It's got to be got to be weekly. We made it. We're here. There is snow on the castle. I don't know if you guys can see that on the video. But there's snow. There's snow on the castle. It's too early. We're still in spooky season. If there's a pumpkin over there, there should not be snow on the castle. Also, it's California. It is California. Let's be real. So it's a little <laughs> weird seeing it, but now it's time for our much needed 
Much needed Starbucks. So here's a current look at the wait times. It's, what is that? It's 8.08 .08 right now. The park's only been open for eight minutes. Lines aren't horrible, like at all. Big Thunder Mountain 5, they're actually not bad at all. Walk on, walk on. This is looking good. All fancy. And Honda Mansion's only 25, but we do have that genie at 9.10. Indiana Jones, 25, not bad. We'll probably lightning Matterhorn later. Making minis, walk on. Oh, look at him go. Oh, I can't really do it on this concrete. Dude, everything is, everything's a walk on right now. So I told Giovanni I'm gonna be piling all of the Disney fun facts that I have for him, because I tell everyone all the time, but he hasn't been here. So first fun fact for Giovanni is that brick wall right there was called the test wall. So they wanted to know what bricks they were gonna end up using in Disneyland. So what they did is they used that wall as like a test to see what all the bricks looked like. And then opening day came in 1955 and they didn't have enough time to like tear it down. So they were like, let's just slap a water fountain on it and it'll be a water fountain wall. So that is the test wall, known as the test wall by first everyone. First ever brick wall here? First one here. That's the one where they tested all the bricks to see which one they wanted. Dang. And you can see which one they chose. Should I touch it? The best one. You can touch the test wall if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. All right, here's our first look at the Christmas merch. Oh, see, this is already catching my eye. Oh, I think it's women's, which is okay, but it, when this one, this woman's cut is too short, so I wouldn't be able to get that. But I don't know if it gets cold enough here in California for this. But this tote's nice. I could see Priscilla getting something like that, or these are so nice with the Crocs. They're fuzzy. I'm not a big fuzzy croc shy because I get so hot. I'm trying to get Giovanni to get this hat. Because he's he's kind of a hat guy too sometimes. Let's see how much. 40 bucks plus I have a discount. Maybe I'll get it for him as a surprise. Or just convince him to get it himself. And this is definitely something I could see Priscilla in. She, she loves fluffy things like this. And I think, I think she'll think that this design is cool. I don't know how much it is. So this one is $59.99. So it's a little pricier. It's still too hot. It's gonna be 91 degrees today. This is cool. See, I can get behind this. I would actually wear that. It's it's really heavy though. It's super, super heavy. Disneyland on the back. I'm assuming it's just like their Christmas sweater this year. Um, like Christmas sweater spirit jersey. And this is $100. So that's not something that I'm gonna be getting. I don't usually like to spend that much on merch for one item at least. They do have these new zip ups, which I'm usually not a zip up guy, but it's like a spirit jersey zip up almost. And I actually like these and I like that color because I don't have many things that color. So I do think that one's cool. And they do have a black one as well. So the black one over here, these go for how much? They're going for 70, 69.99. My thing is the zips always like shrink, I feel like. So I don't know. The cut is a little different too, but it's super soft. And this is another, I could see maybe Priscilla getting this, but I don't know. But she does like the leather style. And that's a hoodie zip up there, which is really nice. It's got the castle. I don't know how much that one is, but if I find it, I'll show. Here's another color in that zip up. This is probably my least favorite one, but it's still really nice. I've always wanted to get like a, a throw blanket here, like for the house. $70. I've never done it, but I don't have enough like Disney home decor. I think that's where I'm lacking the most is my decor. There's something here. It says personalization available. I don't know what this is for. So maybe when we come back later, I'll check that out and see what it is. But for now, I have no idea what that is for, but you can personalize something here, which is nice. I love personalization. It's usually pretty cheap too. Yeah. So whatever you're looking to get here, whatever this is for, the prices are super cheap, so if you're looking for like a cheap souvenir, this is the way to go. This is nice, $20 though, for, what is that, one, one towel? One towel, that's a bit, that's a bit high. I don't love this, but Priscilla likes wreaths, so maybe I can convince her to get something like that, although we just bought one. We just bought a wreath for our living room. And this is all part of, I guess, the Christmas, because that's a tree skirt. I don't know if these mugs are considered part of Christmas or not, but all of this home decor is so nice. I've been thinking about getting this mug because I'm a coffee drinker. Every Saturday I use one of my Disney mugs. And this, I feel like there's just, like the Haunted Mansion says, there's always room for one more. Here's a little Disney secret. There's an outlet there. 
I don't know if it works, but you could try it. And they still have the Peter Pan collection too. So they have the Crocs for $59.99. They have a Windbreaker, and this is going for also $59.99. The Spirit Jersey is actually, I think, the thing that I like the most out of the collection because it's a little less out there. Everything is super colorful, which I don't mind, but it's just not something that I would wear. But they also have another hat that Giovanni might like for the same price. I have to show him these because I think he'll actually get one because he wanted a hat today. He just forgot his at home. You done? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Fire, yeah. Are you ready? No, her. Oh, we were almost there. All right, Giovanni's never seen the castle. No. Giovanni, what do you think? No, you have to like. The one in Orlando is bigger. <laughs> That's a fact. Well, I mean, yeah. Covered in snow already. I'm not over it. I'm gonna keep saying that, because that's wrong. Matterhorn, we gotta take Giovanni on Matterhorn. But I think we're gonna make our way to Indiana Jones, because I think we can get on it early enough to where there's not gonna be a crazy line. Hopefully it's running. Hopefully there's nothing going wrong, but Indiana Jones is known to do that. So we're gonna get on going and I'm excited. That's gonna wake all of us up if the coffee didn't already. Indiana Jones right now is only 25 minute wait. So we're gonna book it over there. It's time, Indiana Jones, Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Oh, it's straight ahead, lightning lane off to the right. We're going standby and we're getting rolling with the first ride of the day. I think that's embarrassing, where are we going? <laughs> Temple! Ooh, it stinks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni got scared. <laughs> Giovanni, Giovanni, pull it. I got in trouble. All right, first of all, that was not a 25 minute wait. That was maybe 10 minutes at most. And we're already this path leads to timeless <laughs> We are starting That's high. Okay, high so high. you said that your well, it's our first ride. Is it at nine? We have haunted mansion. Nine something. Okay, we have time. Nine ten. You said we have time for probably one more. You said nine ten. Did I really? Yeah. I'll double check. Yeah, we're starting up on a high bar. Yeah, we're starting high. So Giovanni, like I said, has never been to Disneyland. He doesn't know the ins and outs. He doesn't know like what that ride was gonna be like. So he brought his Starbucks water <laughs> and had to grip it the whole time. I don't know how the cast members didn't see it. He wasn't sneaking it. He just like just brought. He just walked on with it. <laughs> He was having to grip it, and he didn't spill, I which did. I, I'm very impressed by. <laughs> but no, I've, I've never seen something like that. It's so funny, dude. But you said the bar is set high. Yeah. This is your favorite. Well, your first ride and your favorite ride so far. Yeah. That was fun. Look at the line now. That was a 10-minute wait, maybe, and it was posted 25. Dude, now it's probably like 30 minutes. It's probably 35. All right, we have a fast pass to get to for Haunted Mansion. We did not do this on the last trip, if you guys remember. And now we get to do it and take Giovanni and Tegan. They have not been on the, well, Giovanni's never been on Haunted Mansion besides Florida, and Tegan hasn't been on the holiday overlay of Haunted Mansion. So that's what we're gonna do now. I said this last time, but I love this extra space that we're seeing. And the treehouse is almost done. They're getting there. They're getting so close. Our lightning lane is redeemed. And it's time, Haunted Mansion, holiday overlay, spooky season style. All right, what are your expectations? Um, I've only seen the old school movie with Eddie Murphy, so I'm, that's what I'm basing it off. Did you like the version in uh, Disney World? Yeah, it's the same thing. Almost. Almost. But, well, actually, now that it's the holiday version, it's like 
so different. It's gonna be like completely different. Scarier? Yeah. yeah. It was all right. Not your favorite. He's, he's never seen Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Okay, so you, no, you still it, it, you know he you still like Indiana know. Jones more. Yeah. Okay. Well, this I give next that, I give that a three. Wow, out of ten or five? Out of ten. Oh, no, wow. That's not valid. You've never seen the movie, so you can't say that. Let's go down this way. Okay. okay well, this next ride's gonna be good. You're gonna? Uh, is it Thunder Mountain? Road? Yeah. This one's gonna be fun. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> Flying Lightning Lane today was so smart. Because look at what we're skipping. We're skipping a 30 minute wait, which is still not bad. But we're trying to get it. We're only here for a day. So we're trying to get through everything. So if we can do that, I think we're, we're looking golden so far. We're knocking out the big hitters. And our chariot awaits. We just booked our first genie for California Adventure. So we're gonna be going over there at 11. Our fast pass is for Web Slingers at 11.30, so we'll probably get in there a little early, maybe go into some shops or get a snack, something like that, kill like a half hour. But we just got our first one. It's right now, it is 9.42. So we have some time to kill. So we are gonna go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which we all did together in Florida. So we're gonna do it now in this Toontown, well, in the only Toontown in the world, because they have not been to Toontown. So we're gonna go take them and then kill some time California Adventure. We really just do this ride every single time. All right, we just got off of Mickey and Minnie's. First bit of water of the day. I still haven't eaten yet, but gotta hydrate. It's getting hot. I haven't seen anyone post these yet. But they're slippers and they come with socks and they're $45 fuzzy socks and Christmas slippers. I also haven't seen this hoodie yet either. I really like it but it's pretty thin. I don't know and it's it's a lot of red so I probably won't but it's nice. Look at that. It's perfect for me. Jay's Morning Warehouse. Giovanni what'd you get? I got a baby Groot. Baby Groot. And you have your Remy and you have zero. zero. Wow. Look at that. His first visit. Wow. Time to park up. And I need food. In style. I need to eat. Oh yeah. Time to get spooky in California Adventure. Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie. What do you have to say every time you say Oogie Boogie? Oogie Boogly. Oogly Boogly. And I'm gonna pre-order some mo mobile order some foods. Get your energy up. I know. Are you tired? Alright, we need to get Giovanni's energy up because we're we're park hopping. We're moving in a grooving, and he's gotta get going. I think everyone kinda needs to get going. And then we're gonna Why are you so sleepy? You're out of Celsius. I know, but I only had five hours of sleep. We need to pick it up. He's saying he's tired. 
Where do we Keeping get? Your acting where, tired. where do we get Elote? Costina Cucamonga. Ah, there she is. Oh, it looks like they have some of the Oogie Boogie Bash little sets still up. So you can go and take a picture. It's like a nice photo op. And there's my crew. Come on, crew. Bring it up. Bring it up. It's their first time in Avengers Campus. We are so excited right now. And we're, we are secretly ordering Giovanni to drink. Wait, from here, right? Yeah. Wow. Look at it. It's not too busy either. No. Wow. We have a Web Slingers Lightning Lane very soon. Very, very soon. So we are putting in a secret order at Kim's Tasting Lab. We're getting some adult drinks. And Giovanni has no idea. We're going to surprise him because his energy is so low. He's crashing. So we need to pick him up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and get him a drink. Tegan picked one out for him, so we're gonna we're gonna put one in. Oh. What's this? <laughs> Seltzer with vodka. And I got an espresso martini. Wow. That looks really good. Try it. That does look yummy. Got my space dust. Nice. Like it's three, All right, so two, we just took a little first. food break. Right. I had some quesadilla. Uh, you had elote. What did you also? What did you have? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. And then we each had a drink, so we're feeling a lot better. I do. Have Rejuvenated. I do have to say the elote is way better than before because before it was literally a mayo packet and like Parmesan cheese. That's true. But it's way better. A lot better now. So we're gonna go to our Web Slingers Lightning Lane. And then I think we have another lightning lane right after for Incredicoaster. So that's the plan. If you guys are coming here, make sure if, if you're trying to go on Guardians, you want to prioritize that, make sure you guys do that sooner than later because right now it's noon and all of the lightning lanes for Guardians is completely gone. So we're going to try again at around 3 o'clock and see if we can get something for like later in the day for Monsters After Dark. So far it's it's getting warmer. It's I don't know if it shows me here. It is it's 83 degrees with a high of 89 today. So being in the direct sun in California Adventure kind of burns you up. But so far it's been a great time. We're only moving forward. Let's keep rolling. And now our project lead, the brilliant oh Peter Parker! Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. And here at Wet, we got access to some pretty awesome tech, like vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have to part of it and start tech. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Me? Is that you, Giovanni? Giovanni? Tegan? Priscilla? Reinforcements remain seated. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Dude, I killed that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Overall score. All right, so we just went on Web Slingers, and then we have a lightning lane for Incredicoaster. So that's what we're gonna do next. After that, I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, it's starting to get really hot. But we're enjoying ourselves, we're having a good time. So we'll just kind of see what we do after that. But comment what you guys do for like a little midday break. Do you guys stay in the park until closure? Do you go back to your hotel, like change your clothes, shower maybe? I don't know, because it's on these hot days, you kind of want to go back. And like swim or shower or something like that but so far it's been a great day it's just getting really hot so comment down below what do you guys do here we go incredicoaster time Woohoo! incredicoaster incredicoaster oh, I'm so excited for oh yeah giovanni's gonna love it all right it's getting hot it's like really hot right now. I think it's 89 degrees. And while that doesn't seem like it would be horrible, there's no shade in California Adventure. There is zero shade. So we are just burning. And we forgot sunscreen, so that's not good. So what we're gonna do, because we just did Incredicoaster, we are gonna go to the Animation Academy and get some AC and draw a character. After that, I don't know the plan. Maybe ice cream, downtown Disney take a midday break at our hotel, come back in a couple of hours when it cools down a bit. But we've already walked six miles, so we're, we're moving, guys. We're moving. 
we are taking advantage of our one day here. And we've already park hopped, so that's the plan for now. It's just hot. It's just super hot, so. Time for Animation Academy and the AC. Ah, Disney AC. There's nothing like it. All right, let's see who we're gonna draw. Right now, 114. So let's see who we're gonna be drawing today. Right, or 130, Miguel. Oh, okay. For 15 minutes. Okay. So 130, we're gonna be drawing Miguel. So, you wanna do it? All right. So change of plans. We are not drawing, we are doing Turtle Talk with Crush. Yeah, it's not. Giovanni's request. That's got a turtle name. Do you know how to talk like a turtle? Oh, no worries, dude. I can totally teach you. Because I'm a turtle. I first say, totally. Totally? Dude, that was really good. Now say, sweet. Sweet. Like I'm talking to a turtle. <laughs> Alright, now smash those two together and say, Totally sweet! Totally sweet! Oh, you did that's good for us! Make a <laughs> Well, that was Turtle Talk with Crush. That was so fun. That was really cute. Giovanni really liked it. He, oh, he sees cotton candy. Alright, what I think we're gonna do is I think we might end this vlog here and do a second vlog tonight when we come back. If I do end up doing that, then this is it. That was first vlog back in Disney. There's plenty more to come because we're going to be coming back later tonight. And we're going to be here all night and bring some energy drinks so we can make sure we stay up all night. So say goodbye. Bye. That'll be it for vlog number one. We'll see you guys in the next one, part two of day one.